Hi, my name is Craig Ballantyne. I'm going to teach you the 10, yes, the 10 lessons to help you become a self-made millionaire. But in this video, we're going to start with lesson number one. And lesson number one comes to me from my mentor. The guy's name was Mark Ford, and he's now worth probably about $100 million. How did he get to $100 million? Well, when he was about 30 years old, he made a decision. He made a decision that he was going to make it a singular focus to get rich. Yeah, he was happily married and he made sure that he maintained that happy marriage. But in his career, he said, I am only going to work to get rich. And that is called singularity of focus. Singularity of focus on one thing is what gets you rich. Because you know what? You know what? You're probably struggling to get rich right now. And why is that? It's because you're doing a whole bunch of things. You don't have singularity of focus. So maybe you've heard this old phrase and you know, it's first time I ever heard it was in the book, The One Thing by another one of my mentors, Gary Keller. And the phrase goes like this. It's an old proverb that a man who chases two rabbits catches neither one, right? So if you're like, oh my goodness, well, I'm going to go after this. I'm going to go after this. I'm going to go after this. You're, You're so distracted that you don't have singularity of focus. And it's only when you have singularity of focus on one major project, that you're going to get the most success possible. So here's a story in my life. For a long time, I was in the fitness industry. I was solely focused on the fitness industry. I made workout videos. I sold those workout programs to the world. I didn't have nutrition. I didn't have meditation. I didn't have yoga. I didn't have all those things. And we were super successful. Our best year, we made five and a half million dollars selling workout programs to one audience. And then I made the stupid mistake of trying to go out to all these other rings and getting distracted. I started chasing the yoga rabbit. I started chasing the cookbook rabbit. And I lost money because I lost my singularity of focus. In fact, I lost $250,000 and at one day I had to fire five people all at once. You wanna talk about singularity of focus with laser beam eyes on you as you fire five people in a room? That was hell. That was the worst day in my career because I lost my singularity of focus. And I don't want that to happen to you. Now, if you're just starting out, if you're just starting out, you're probably wondering, well, what should I choose? I got all these options. And the more successful you get, the more opportunity comes into your life that tries to get you off track. So you have to, you have to know yourself. You have to know your expertise. You have to sell a hard offer, something that helps people make more money or lose weight or change their body or get more sex. You can only really do those three things. If you try and do confidence and motivation, all that stuff, it doesn't work. So you gotta focus in on your hard offer. Then you gotta focus in on one way to get leads and generate traffic. And you need to spend 80% of your time focused on, as my mentor Mark Ford said, on your optimal selling system the best way for you to get customers. And you go all in on that. What I see from too many people is they're like, oh, I'm gonna do social media and I'm going to write blog articles and I'm gonna do speaking and I'm gonna do this and that and the other thing. And you have no focus. You're not able to put all your attention on getting world-class and great. And you become this good at 19 things. And to be this good at 19 things is not as good as being this good at one thing. So singularity of focus on your main offer, on your main way of selling, on the main way you use your time. And don't get distracted. Don't chase those shiny objects. Don't get fear of missing out by looking at other people and how they do it. Don't be chasing shiny objects. Don't think the grass is greener on the other side. The grass is green where you water it. And you can't water a lawn that's a mile long with one watering can. You can only water one area really well with that much water, which is how much energy and focus and motivation you have. So get singularity of focus. And when you do that, when you cut the crap, when you cut the 19 things out and focus on that one, that's when success will come to you faster. When my friend Bedros Koulian stopped all his coaching programs and went all in on Fit Body Bootcamp, it went from a $3 million company to a $20 million company. And when I sought him out for advice and I said, here are the six things that are going to grow my coaching business, Bedros, he said, no, you don't get six things. You don't get six things. You got to have singularity of focus. And when he gave me singularity of focus and I cut out those other things, my monthly coaching income went from $20,000 to $130,000. 
in less than a year's time. Singularity of focus. I want it for you. You gotta have it. Make it your singular focus to be successful in one area and all other areas of your business will improve. That's lesson number one. I know every single self-made millionaire has done that. I'll say one last story. There was a famous dinner party. At that dinner party was Bill Gates and Warren Buffett and for some reason, Bill Gates' mom was there. And this story has been written up in all the, you know, the Forbes and Fortune and all that stuff. And as legend goes, Mrs. Gates said to Warren and Bill, hey boys, tell me, that's how she talks. Hey boys, tell me, what's the number one thing for success? And they both said, focus. Bill was focused on selling Microsoft and Warren was focused on sitting there in his desk chair all day long and reading financial reports. And that's how they got enormously wealthy, not by doing 19 things. And Steve Jobs, here's another story. Steve Jobs said, when somebody asked him, what are you, what are you most proud of? And Steve Jobs said, I'm most proud of what we did not do, what we said no to, because we had singularity of focus. People were talking about the iWatch and the iCar all the way back in 2007 and eight, but he stayed with the iPhone and they've sold a billion of them. Singularity of focus. So whatever it is that you're doing, ruthlessly cut the crap and get focused and your income will skyrocket. That's number one lesson. Of the 10 lessons I'm gonna teach you in the Self-Made Millionaire series.